guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Weapons Pack. Now, a weapons pack has been asked for since the Classics line began, because a weapons pack just like this was released in the Vintage line, so many thought this would be a cool bonus accessory for the current toy line. And Mattel heard the fans, so they created this all new pack. The weapons pack comes shipped in a large white mailer box similar to what the action figures come in. The weapons are carded on a large blister, very similar to how the original pack was packaged. But this time around, the deco is the same we are used to seeing on the current Classics action figures. The back of the package shows off several figures from the current line. All right, now that we've seen the box, let's take a look at everything that is included in this large pack. First, let's start with the obvious homage to the original weapons pack, the light blue power sword, shield, and axe. Now these brightly colored weapons don't exactly appear threatening or even powerful. It's really nothing more than a throwback to that original weapons pack, which included these exact same weapons in similar light blue colors. Now you would almost expect these to have to come with this weapons pack, so it's not like these are unexpected at all. And for those who like the original pack, this is definitely a cool homage. Now we were also given another throwback to the original line, in the form of this light brown Beastman armor. The original weapons pack included a yellow Beastman armor, so the colors here aren't exactly the same, but it's close. And I oftentimes see the original Beastman figure being sold with that yellowish armor on, so I think it's possible a lot of people played with their old figure wearing this armor. So this new one gives you the option of displaying your current Beastman the same way if you prefer to do so. Now also included is this Beastman whip in a red color. Now Toy Guru from Mattel stated that this red whip was included as an homage to the laser whip from the Masters of the Universe motion picture. It's a cool idea indeed, but now we need a blade figure to hold it. This light silver crossbow was included for all of those Hordak fans who were hoping to replace the black one he came with, with one that more matched the original Hordax crossbow. While this isn't exactly white like the original one, it is a really nicely colored silver and does still look pretty cool with Hordak. But I do feel that an actual white crossbow would have been a better choice. There is a newly colored Triclops sword included. Now this sword was meant to match the colors of the sword shown on the original card back. So for anyone who would prefer to display him as he was pictured, this sword should be a cool addition for you. As another throwback to the vintage line, there were several weapons included to resemble the ones that came with the original Castle Grayskull playset. We were given a scythe, a gun, and a club, all in a gray colored plastic. Now this is a pretty cool addition, and you can definitely find some uses for these extra weapons, but now it feels like we just need a new rack to hang these on, because that would make these even better. A red jetpack was also included for Stratos. The original Stratos figure had two versions released, one with a blue pack and red wings, and one that had the opposite red pack and blue wings. This of course was included for those who wanted to display their classic Stratos with the opposite colored pack. The only problem here is we don't have the blue wings, so this red pack kind of clashes with his red wings.
Blue versions of Man at Arms Sword and Gun are also included in this pack. It has been stated that originally, the Four Horsemen intended these weapons to be included with Trapjaw as weapons for Cronus. But since Trapjaw already had so many accessories, they could not include them in his package. So with this weapons pack, your Cronus finally has some weapons. The only real problem here is that the way Cronus' left hand is shaped, he has a hard time holding both of the weapons at the same time. But nonetheless, it's cool that we finally have a sword or a gun for our Cronus figure on display. Now for fans of the 2002 series, you'll be happy to see that a new version of the electronic power sword has been included with an accurate paint job. So if you were not happy with the all silver version released with Man at Arms, then this is an excellent addition to the set. And finally, we come to this purplish pink cosmic warrior armor. The colors are actually quite horrid here. I've got to be honest, I just do not see the need to have Zodak or anybody else for that matter wearing this color armor. I don't know, maybe some of you out there would like this, but I personally do not. So there you have it, that's the weapons pack. Now the retail price on this on MattyCollector.com will be $15. And while that might seem a little steep, I personally think that's a pretty fair price for all the different accessories we actually have in this pack. Now the thing is, is everything in here is a repaint. So it's all been released before, it's just now available in different colors. So there's nothing new and original. And to be perfectly honest, I would say that if it's not something that you feel like you absolutely need, then you probably shouldn't feel bad if you miss out on this one. Uh, unless you're a completist, or you're somebody who's looking to use some of the alternate colors uh, on their figures, or if you're a customizer, then the accessory pack will be cool for you, but if you're not any of those things, then I would say not to get too upset if you miss out on this. It's probably not a big deal. But it is cool for what it is. It's got that awesome nostalgia factor, so if you like it, then that's great, because it is really cool in that sense. So that's going to wrap up my look at the new weapons pack. Until next time.